Hi Giancarlo, it's Sasha from IMT Specialist Cars in Birmingham. Just uh, showing you a video of our Alfa Romeo um, Giulia Portofoglio. Uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly. I never 100% sure. Um, just to go around the car, just so you can have a good idea of what it looks like. You can see the alloys are all perfect. And as I'll go around, I'll show you all the way around. Um, inside the car, the car is absolutely gorgeous as you can, as you can see. You probably know a little bit more about these than I do. Uh, I'm finding out more and more of these every single day. And again, you just look at the back wheel here. Uh, just look right there. Uh, going around the car, I've hardly found any marks on the car at all. It does feel in absolute pristine. There's a couple of bits and pieces, and I'll just point those out to you as I get to them. But generally speaking, the car is absolutely gorgeous. Again, just come around here. You can see inside from this side, spot on. Uh, there's one or two light little surface marks just on the glass. You can just see that it's not gone through the first layer, so very very clean windscreen other than that um look at across the front again the front wheel no marks there tires are good um if i'm being i say if i'm being brutally honest i think you can look on the on the carbon fiber on the front just down here you might just be able to see where it looks like it's had some very surface the lacquer has just been repaired but again other than that it's absolutely spot on um very very light stone chipping but i'm being ultra picky cars does 19,000 miles but it is absolutely stunning underneath our lights in the show looks superb just jump inside and you can see from the inside as i started up uh, obviously the, the exhaust is in quiet mode we have got a little bit of a um, uh, a fob here that allows us to actually change the exhaust out, as you can hear. So you can make it loud or quiet. And as you go down here, obviously you've got your uh, drive sensor and you can actually pop it into race mode. And you can see, obviously, you can have it in race mode there. Uh, you can also change lots and lots of other parts of the system. And again, you can probably know more about this. Um, what you can do in here in the settings um, uh, there we go change it modes um, so there you go um, as I said to you on earlier on, on email the car is going to have its next service done 